There's not coffee today. <laughs> it's, it's, it's just tea. That's good. <laughs> good yeah. No, yeah, it's today. nothing else, I promise. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it wasn't uh, pretty. Um, you know, obviously, we didn't play nearly uh, to the level we're capable of. And you got to give Dallas credit, too. I thought they played well, did some good things. So uh, there's a lot we can improve on and, you know, a lot we can do better this week. And I'm, I'm you know, positive that we will be able to do that. And so we've got to get back to work this afternoon, this evening uh, to play better Thursday night. Anything there that gives you all pause moving forward or uh, or there adjustments to be made? No, I think there's adjustments to be made. We just need to play better uh, than we did the other night as players. And, um, you know, um, that's what we have to focus on. And, and I think we can do it. We've shown it at, you know, tons of times throughout the year that, that we're capable of uh, better than we played Sunday. Man, you're still getting to know a new head coach a little bit. How is he in situations like this? I think he's been good. I mean, um, you know, there, there's there's not a whole lot of panic or a whole lot of change in emotion uh, when you get back in. You know, after the game yesterday, you know, there, there's really nothing great you can say in those situations. And so he didn't say much, just that we need to get back to work today, put that one behind us quickly, uh, learn from it, and you know, get ourselves ready to go this Thursday. But he's been great today. Are these the kind of situations where he was talking about this earlier, where you really start to find out about people, players, coaches, how you respond? Yeah, for sure. I think any time you go through adversity, um, you see what you know, what, what people are made of. And um, you know, obviously last week, you know, we're, we're still five or uh, four and five, and and so you know, it's I've been in worse situations uh, for sure. And um, you know, obviously it was an ugly game, but it's just one. And uh, you will find out about guys, the way we come in, the way we get prepared, the way we, you know, get ready to go on a short week, and uh, hopefully the way we perform. Hopefully we'll find out a lot of good things about guys. You've been through a lot of these Thursday night games. What's the key to getting not only yourself but the entire squad, as you were pointing out, moved on and, and ready to go against a pretty hot team? Yeah, I think, I think it's number one, you know, you got to get yourself physically ready to play. Um, you know, because the, the time frame is, is much shorter, um, you know, obviously, than the, the full week that we normally have. Uh, and then I think from a game plan standpoint, you know, I, I think it's still, we try and get into as normal of a routine as we can today, kind of being like a Wednesday, tomorrow, Thursday, and then Wednesday, similar to a combo of a Friday, Saturday. And, and I think from the mental standpoint, you know, you can get there. Uh, but I think the biggest thing is, you know, as a player, getting your body right, making sure that uh, you're feeling as good as you can for Thursday night. I know it's been a long time, but your opponent, obviously, on Thursday, there's a lot of memories for the city with that opponent. Does that ever cro cross in your mind, you know, I guess now the second time you're facing them since the Super Bowl? I mean, not really. Um, there are not many guys left in the building as a whole. Uh, so, you know, a, a lot of time has, you know, come between now and then. Second time we're playing them. Um, you know, I'm not worried about what happened in the winter of 2017. I'm worried about trying to get this win Thursday night and making sure that, um, you know, we're trying to get back to 500 and making a push. And, and really, you know, that's where my focus is at. Um, so, no, I don't think about it too much. Yeah, I mean, is there any sort of, if you were to win on Thursday, is there any sort of, perhaps the regular season exercise with demons or anything like that that could theoretically happen? You can't go back and win that game from, you know, 2017. So you have to move on from it and try and do everything we can um, to get ourselves back to 500. I really don't think it, enter, you know, it, it exercises any demons or anything like that. That game's over and has been played. Arthur was talking earlier, and he was saying that this, this team that you're facing on Thursday is actually a pretty physical team, and it's something that's relatively overlooked with them. I mean, I know it's early, and I know you all still have a whole week of prep, or not a whole week. Yeah. Days of prep, but what can you kind of say about this team and kind of the hot start that they or the hot road that they've kind of been on over the last few weeks? Yeah, they've played well. The last four or five weeks, they've played uh, really well. And I think, um, you know, I think what he said is true. When you watch them, um, they're fundamentally sound. They play physical and, and they're tough and they play for four quarters. And um, that's been their recipe for success for a long time. Uh, but certainly, 
you know, the, the way that they're playing this year. And uh, I always think they're well coached, and I always think they're a tough football team. Um, that's certainly what you see when you turn on the tape. Yeah, I think, you know, the, the, the ability to, to bounce back, to come back in, you know, with the right mindset, um, you know, those things are they're, they're traits that you see from people um, early on during the season, you know, after a couple of tough losses come back and uh, continuing to work the right way. I think those are things that uh, you hang your hat on. And, um, you know, so I do think there's there's positives that can be drawn from that. You learn from those situations, and, and you try and be better for it moving forward. But, um, you know, I think we'll be fine. You know, it's it's obviously, you know, it's never fun to, to lose the way we did. Uh, but we've got a lot of, of mentally tough guys in, in our locker room and guys that, uh, you know, just continue to go to work, and that's what you have to do as a professional. Yeah, I know you were mentioning about you know, the short rest, uh, playing on Thursday night. Now, obviously, you've done this a lot throughout your career. But Arthur mentioned that, that you want to move on as quickly as possible from a game like Sunday. So it's, in theory, a good thing you play on Thursday. Do you feel sort of that same sentiment and trying to just move on and make Sunday in the past as quick as you can? Yeah, I mean, I, I think whether, you know, whether it's a, a Thursday game or a Sunday game, I mean, that's that's part of the trick, you know, in this league is whether good or bad, you know, you have to move on, you have to uh, get your mindset on what's next. Uh, easier probably for, for some guys with a short week because there's really no chance to, to catch your breath. It's, it's back to work and it's, um, you know, immediately getting on to a game plan and, and, and you know, game film and, and watching a new opponent right away. Matt, you guys have struggled to run the ball a lot this year. Obviously, Calvin is still out. How difficult does that make it? I know you're not going to whine about it, but how difficult does that make it as a quarterback when you can be going every game? You know, we, we, we'd certainly like to be more efficient and, and more balanced than we've been uh, up until this point. But, you know, that's, that's part of this game. And, um, you know, it's my job responsibility to, to go out there and try and make it happen and do the best I can with however the day is shaken out. And, um, you know, I haven't done it. I didn't do it. At certain times, I've done a good enough job. I didn't do a good enough job this past week. Well, we only had nine completions the other day, so, um, at, or I only had nine completions the other day. So I, I kind of, it wasn't lack of attempt. We just, nobody really got going. Um, and I think it'll be just fine. He played really well for us two weeks ago. Um, the, the game this past Sunday just is one of the outliers. Did I hear receivers are getting enough separation for you, or, or are you, like, are you throwing them open well enough? Yeah, we've, we've done a good job of that most of the year. We just, you know, weren't good enough this past Sunday, collectively. Receivers, myself, the entire offense. But, yeah, for the most part, throughout the year, they've done a great job. Did you, what did you see in the, the review of the 10 batted passes? Because uh, I saw that after the game, I was like, that was like they were right there. <clears throat> Yeah, those are those are tough. Um, you know, it's it's one of those things when the ball's coming out and guys don't end up getting home. Uh, you know, they do a good job of, of throwing hands up, and um, you know that's that's part of the game. It just it happens from time to time. You know, I feel like I've done a good job throughout my career finding passing lanes, being tall, being able to deliver the ball over hands. But it's just you know one of those days um, just didn't happen for us. This is kind of a Yeah, I mean, that's that's this league, you know, and, and maybe this year is more so than ever, but, um, you know, that's been the history of this league is that it's, you know, any given Sunday. You go out there and it doesn't matter who who your opponent is, what your records are, uh, there's a lot of good players and a lot of good coaches across the board in this league. And so for us, you know, that's, that's part of it too. Hey, it happened. You know, obviously it's not what we want, but, you know, you, Thursday night's going to be a completely different ball game uh, against a completely different opponent, and um, you know anything can happen. So uh, I just have to have that mindset that we're going to play our best 
and, and constantly focus on the next time we play is going to be the best football that we play. I haven't seen him uh, play a lot, uh, to be honest, um, just from the opponents we've gone against, et cetera, just a little bit here and there. Um, but he looks poised. You know, um, I've been impressed. I mean, nothing seems too big for him. He goes out there and, and just continues to compete and make good plays for them. Seems to get him in the right plays and right protections and those kind of things quite a bit. So um, of the little I've seen, I think he's done a good job. Anything else? All right. Thank, Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.